Hey guys, I am so excited because I can finally talk about this. So a while back, uh, I contacted Keto Chow and got in with their affiliate program so that I could try some of their products and also have some links available for you guys for some discounts, which are always in the description box below if you have any interest in doing that. Uh, but I am super excited because Keto Chow just released a new flavor and I finally get to talk about it. So <laughs> this is something... I'm so excited about because I got kind of some first insight into the new flavor and having a chance to try it. So uh, this has been an awesome privilege and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So uh, a couple weeks back, Keto Chow reached out and said, hey, we've got this new flavor. Do you want to try it? But you have to stay super quiet about it until June 12th. <sighs> I was like, yeah, yeah, totally. And then they sent me the flavor and I... It took everything in me not to burst into tears because I was so excited. Guys, I present to you Keto Chow's newest flavor, birthday cake. So I have tried so many flavors of Keto Chow, all of the original, some of the kind of spunky fun flavors. My favorite flavor to date is Snickerdoodle. It is absolutely divine. It is my absolute favorite. And a million times over, I, I could live off of it, I swear. Uh, now, if you guys are unfamiliar with Keto Chow, this is not an ad for Keto Chow. This is just a simple review over the new flavor birthday cake. But just to give you an idea in case uh, this is not something that you've tried before. Keto Chow, it comes in either packets or you can get a, these are single serve packets, or a large bag where there's a scoop to do single serve scoops. Um, basically, it's perfectly formulated to fit in with a ketogenic diet. Um, it is a combination, most of the flavors are a combination of whey and casein as far as that protein. They are very low carb, um, but have that good source of protein. There are options for how to mix this. Uh, so basically, you choose the type of fat you wish to add. Um, they usually recommend like four tablespoons. So for, for instance, the traditional way of making this is with a half a stick of butter. Um, and then whatever liquid of your choice, it can be water, it can be coffee, it can be nut milk, whatever works for you. Um, I have tried it a few different ways. I have tried it with using butter as the fat. I have tried it using heavy cream as a fat, which both of those are the options that are listed on the back of the packet. Uh, but I have found that my favorite way to make it is actually with coconut oil. Um, the reason for that is because this is already kind of a, it has a, a higher salt content. And so if you're not careful, the, of course, like I've used both regular unsalted and salted butter with it. If you're not careful, it can come across really salty. Uh, but coconut oil has been my favorite way of preparing this. So just after I give you guys my little uh, taste test on the new birthday cake flavor, I do have a little clip afterwards uh, that shows you how I prepare my keto chow when I do make it. Um, I don't personally use these all the time. I just have them on rare occasions. Um, I like to keep a few on hand for that. But, um, you know, I, I think that they are a really great option. They're a quality product if anybody is interested in something as far as like a meal replacement shake. I find that they're easy just to like have one here and there and it, you know especially if I've forgotten to meal prep. I also my very favorite thing to do is basically prepare a keto chow and put it into one of my ninja creamy pints and use it to make ice cream. It makes super thick custardy ice cream that is in my opinion just like it has that same chew and pull that real ice cream has compared to like the kind of strange texture of most low carb ice cream. So that is my biggest reason that I get keto chow is for ice cream. Now I don't have a taste test for it yet, but I do have one in the freezer of the birthday cake flavor. 
Uh, so I will be trying that in a few days and give you guys some feedback on that. But right now, I'm going to give you my taste test. So this is the Keto Chow Shaker. You can use any blender bottle that you want. This is just one of the ones with the little metal springy ball inside. Um, and it's actually the blender bottle company that makes their logo ones. Um, basically, you want to prepare them, um, I think it's at least 30 minutes before you intend to, uh, to drink it. But I like to let it sit overnight, which is what I've done today. Um, it's been in the fridge about 24 hours. And they get really, really thick and creamy. There's some kind of sorcery in here that keeps whatever fat you use from solidifying. So... I don't know what the magic is, but there's some sort of magic. All right, so the packet itself, just to read you the macros. Uh, so just for the packet, it is 120 calories, less than one gram of fat, because you do add the fat yourself. Total carbs, three grams. Dietary fiber, two grams. So if you're doing total carbs, three total carbs. If you're doing net carbs, it's one net carb. And then 26 grams of protein, even with my eyeballs on. That was hard to read um, but that is your uh, your macro profile for the packet now I also have made these for my son who is not interested in all of the excess fat with just almond milk and they've turned out amazing so I mean you do you all right so for the full shake I used three tablespoons of coconut oil and two cups of unsweetened vanilla almond milk in one packet so my total macros for this shake entirely is going to be 540 calories now keep in mind yes that's high but this is a meal replacement it is intended to fully replace a meal if you drink the entire thing um, also 28 total grams of protein 47 grams of fat and five total carbs or if you're counting net carbs it would be two net carbs now I have trouble drinking a whole keto chow in a sitting. Uh, for me, I usually can do about half and then I stick it back in the fridge and save the other half for another meal. But I don't see any harm in having a whole one, especially if it is replacing a meal. So I'm going to make sure she's checked up really, really good. Okay. Let's check. Okay. So it smells a lot like the vanilla. Um, or, or just a very traditional vanilla protein shake, um, but just with like a little richer. It has the smell in there of like buttercream frosting. But it's not over the top, so it's vanilla with like a buttercream frosting kind of flavor. Okay, let's taste it. Okay. Okay. So, all right, here's the thing. It is definitely better than just traditional vanilla. It does taste like if you are making a cake mix and you dip your finger in the batter and you taste it. There used to be an ice cream, so, but birthday cake ice cream is my favorite ice cream. So now I'm like even more excited about the ice cream attempt with this. Um, but it, there, there used to be this brand of ice cream and it was, I don't remember what store it was, but it was a store brand birthday cake ice cream that had this really thick, like royal blue, royal blue frosting through it. Um, and this reminds me of that. It's that it has that little taste in the back. It's not overpowering as far as the sweetness, but it tastes like that blue frosting, uh, like Almost like the uh, the frosting that you can get like in the tubes to uh, do like decorative like roses and things. Definitely like a buttercream. Um, I think you taste that more than the cake batter kind of flavor. There's definitely some frosting in there, like the the Betty Crocker or Duncan Hines tubs of, of frosting. It's got a little of that flavor in it. This is excellent. 
I don't know if it supersedes Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle is probably still my favorite, but y'all. I am not mad at this. This is so good. Okay. That's that. I'm super excited. So it's going live today. Go check out their website. I've got a link in the description below if you want to check it out and try and get a discount on your order. But try it. And definitely try Snickerdoodle. That will always be a favorite. All right. Stay tuned because right after this, I'm going to show you how I made the shake just so that you can kind of see that step by step. All right. See you all later. All right, guys. Let's make some keto chow. I'm using the new birthday cakes. You're going to need a shaker bottle. Any shaker bottle, like blender bottle, will do. This is the one from Keto Chow that comes with a little metal springy ball. You need to use a fat of your choice. I prefer to use uh, coconut oil. This is just my favorite way. And I use three tablespoons of coconut oil. You can use warm water or coffee, but I like to use unsweetened vanilla almond milk. This one is just my favorite to add. Um, I've tried it. I, I think my second favorite is probably using water, but the macros on unsweetened almond milk are really pretty good. And this is just the way that I find that I really enjoy these flavors the best. So here is what we're going to do. I've got my shaker bottle ready and I have already melted the three tablespoons of coconut oil in a coffee cup. And so I'm just going to go ahead and pour that first into my shaker bottle. And I want every single drop, so I'm using my little spatula to get it all in there. All right, and then the very next step, we're gonna go ahead and shake down our keto chow packet. And I add the packet directly to the shaker. I had to give it a smell, since this is my first time trying birthday cake, I'm so excited. All right. So we dump in our keto chow mix, get every single speck of powder that we can. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take the shaker ball and drop that in. But I am going to kind of swirl it around a little bit just to go ahead and start incorporating the powder with the coconut oil. And next, what I do, I've already measured out one and a half cups of almond milk in a measuring cup. And I've warmed this for a, a little over a minute in the microwave just to bring it up to warm to the touch. And we do this so that the coconut oil or the fat that you choose doesn't solidify when you add in a cold liquid here. So I add in the one and a half cups, which that's what uh, the packet calls for is, yeah, I'm clumsy, is one and a half cups of liquid. Um, I find I really prefer to use two, but what I'm doing first first making sure that that <laughs> the mouthpiece is snapped mm -hmm. shut uh, but I add in the one and a half cups and I shake it really really well first as you can see even through the bottle there are no clumps everything has completely blended seamlessly you don't have any lumps and clumps of the powder or anything so next what I'm gonna do as you can see this makes that is, that is considered a serving of keto chow but I prefer to add in an additional half a cup. And at this point, I just go ahead and add it in cold because everything is nice and blended together. As you can see, there's nothing happening there as far as any clumps. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour in another half a cup of the same unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Toss that into the shaker along with the rest. And then put my lid back on and we're going to give it a thorough shake and then you want to keep it in the fridge. I like to do mine overnight for it to completely melt together and it's amazing. Give it a shot. Mm -hmm. 